Hello YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel and if you happen to be new here, welcome to the Painted South. Good morning, it is Tuesday. I've been up for several hours already waiting on the island delivery. It was pouring down raining so that got delayed a little bit. So I'll be showing you that once it's in place, when it gets here. And I also wanted to talk to you about the brick wall situation and tell you why I've totally changed the look that I'm going for. So I'm going to flip the camera around. This will not be a tutorial video. This will be a, I want to show you the island and then I have a shopping haul and some ideas for curtain alternatives and so forth. So um, some curtain options and things like that. So anyway, let me turn the camera around while I'm waiting on the island to be uh, delivered to get here. And um, let me show you my dilemma with this brick. All right, now as far as this brick goes, I have changed this mortar color more times than I care to discuss. It's a long story, which I will share when I do the tutorial. And this color is the latest one that I tried. It said it was a natural gray and it when it got on the wall, as you can see, completely looks blue. It's like a blue-gray, which is not what I want. I, mean, I don't know if it's coming across that way on your screen. But it was just awful, and I just got so frustrated. I have tried so many times because I know exactly the look that I was going for, and for some reason, whenever I would buy mortar, with the lighting, by the time it got on this wall, I'll do it from this angle, it um, it just turned like a blue. Does that look blue to you guys? Because it does to me. So I had that color and then this gray color, which depending on the lighting, looks blue or sometimes not. And then over here, this is like a DeLorean gray, which is super, super light gray, which is also not what I wanted and so anyway this is what I'm doing now so before I was trying to match the brick in here to this the brick outside which I had it fairly close but it wasn't perfect so I kept tweaking it and I messed it up and so now I've decided to do this messy white now it's not a German schmear because I didn't want to cover all of the work that I put on the brick to try to make them look like real brick um, and I'm still working on this, so bear with me on the tutorial, but I am now going for this bone white, it's kind of like a off whitish color, messy mortar look. It's not really coming across that great on camera for some reason but you can see how it brightens up the wall a lot more so instead of sort of having an urban loft look it's going to have more of a French country much lighter look now I haven't done the trim yet because I have I'm waiting till I get all of this done so that I can clean that up and then finish the trim color so as you can see, it really is brightening up the space. And it's not exactly what I had originally thought of, but the fact of the matter is that we have bright white cabinets all in the kitchen, which I'll be sharing with you during the reveal. And it just looks a lot better. It just goes with the white trim. I mean, if we had big wooden beams and wood trim and authentic stone floors and the kind of stuff that I really really love it would it may have looked a lot better but we have builder grade white trim and this is just going to lighten the space and go a lot better with it and I still get to see the brick texture that I added which I will share in the tutorial. All right, so here is the island. It works a lot better than the other small one that we had, and of course better than the original one. 
and I kind of dusted it off, but I really need to clean it. Now that is where we had moved. There was a vent there. So when we got the new heating and air, we moved it under there. So we have to put the cover on and I have to do some caulking and painting. And anyway, here it is. It's got three drawers on each side and the kitties were already playing in there. So I'll probably try to put some baskets or something in there and then I can do some books on the side and so forth, but that's the island, and um, I got a really pretty runner to go across there for fall. I'll show you that here in just a little bit. All right, so these are the curtains I picked up today that I found on Facebook Marketplace, and in the photos, I thought these were hand embroidered. Does that not look totally hand embroidered, but it's not. It's printed on there and it is totally three-dimensional. They have a really, really amazing print on there that gives it a lot of depth for these medallions. And these are actually too long for my space, but I love the background color and these brighter colors, I thought the red was a darker, a little bit darker red, and same with the blue. So they are kind of bright. Um, I probably won't use these in the kitchen, probably the living room, or wherever we end up putting that vintage Chinese drum that I got at Birdhouse. They actually go really well with it. Let me turn on the light here, try to see if we can get a better... Look at the color. So anyway, these are custom made. They're lined. They're weighted at the bottom. So they were done really well. It's hard to even find fabric for what I paid for these. So I'll probably try to have them cleaned. Um, you know, when you get things from other people's houses, they're, it, it's not like it's a bad odor. It's just they'll smell like whoever's house you got them from, so probably have to take them to the dry cleaner. I do love all of the colors in here. The background color looks really nice with our floors, I think. So you can definitely pull out colors from here for fall. You can, of course, do a lot of greens and yellows. Those are fall colors, but you can also find red pumpkins and you can find turquoise pumpkins and any color. And if you can't find them, you can always paint them or just different color candlesticks and so forth to put with your pumpkins. And you can use white, lighter creamy white is in here as well, or the neutral tans. So nowadays you can pretty much find anything that you're looking for, any color scheme. So those are the curtains I picked up, and I will show you a couple of the photos from the listing so you can see how they look hanging up. All right, so I'm just going to show you these very casually. Now, I was looking for curtains for the kitchen, and I could not find anything I wanted. And I went into Bed Bath & Beyond after going to several different stores, and now I've used tablecloths as curtains many times, and I'm sure a lot of you have as well. And I thought that these were kind of cute. They kind of looked uh, like French country, or you could make them that way. And I realized that I got two different ones. Sorry about the glare from the light, but this one just had it around the edge. And then this one had more stripes down the middle, if you can see that. Hold on. They look identical in the package with that stripe, but they are different. So these are, let's see. So these are 60 inches wide and 102 long, and you can hardly find curtain panels like that. So these would puddle or you can fold them down. Each of these was either 40 or 45 and you can get a 20% off coupon and maybe even more than that if they go on sale. But so I think I got these, they were $32 each, which seems like a lot, but 
not really curtain panels can get really really pricey so for that length I didn't think that was that bad but I am going to return these because they just don't go with what I have going on so I did try those two and then I also picked up these the Bee and Willow brand at Bed Bath & Beyond also 102 long 60 inches wide and these are a pecan color and let's see here so it's hard to see the color through the plastic, but it's like a, it's a perfect fall color. Hold on. All right, so it's this really nice fabric and it has the cute stitching around the edge. These would be great for curtains. I may keep these for one of my rooms, I'm not sure. They're a little bit browner in person than they're looking on the camera, so they're almost, kind of too dull if that makes sense I don't know it's it's hard to tell on here because they're actually looking like a really nice terracotta color but I don't know they're called pecan they, they're just they're just a little bit different so they are pretty I, I'm I'm not a hundred percent if I'm taking them back or not but here is the barcode in case you're interested and like I said you know for the money you got two of these for a window for less than $80, and they have a really great texture and long. If you wanted to, you could add trim to these or a tie back or anything to dress them up. So I picked those up, and, uh, and there it is as a tablecloth. Of course, you can just use it as a tablecloth. So those are at Bed Bath & Beyond. And then I went, oh, this was also at Bed Bath & Beyond on clearance. Now, I'm not ready to jump into total fall decorating just yet. I'm still working on projects. So this was on sale for like $10, and it came in an amber vase. Now, they are kind of glued down in there in like that faux epoxy water. But I could probably get them out, or I can just go ahead and add some more in here. I'll try to give you a better look here. But they have a few feathers in, some greenery, these little flowers. They're kind of like a yellowy orange color. So this could definitely be used for spring, summer, or I think for fall. You could even stick a couple little pumpkin picks in there and, and use it for that. So I picked that up. This was also Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, you can probably look online. Let's see if they have any there. There's the barcode. And the Bee and Willow 18 inch floral arrangement. So I got that. And then I got another runner that has pumpkins on it and it's really beautiful, but I'm not quite ready for that. So I got this one in the meantime. It's just a neutral, that really pretty mustardy ochre yellow that I love for fall. Of course you can use it year-round depending on what you put it with but I went ahead and picked this up it was at home goods for $16.99 and I didn't think that was too bad 72 inches long love the texture and the color looks really good with this island but I have um, different pots like this which hold on I'll show you like this pot for example it's kind of that color so any this color yellow I think you can use for a lot of different seasons and even like this print has some yellow in it. So here in the kitchen, I still have things that scream summer and it is still hot and it is still summer. So I'm probably gonna have to find a place to put all of these or just incorporate them into the fall decor. I have some clippings from plants on the front porch that got too tall. And so I just sort of have random stuff. I haven't gotten all my fall stuff out, but I did as I showed in my last video, I did start to put a couple of things out here and this is the corner where we usually keep our actual food and bread. I don't have any bread here right now, but we have like bananas and potatoes over here. So I just sort of have this sitting out like this, nothing fancy or Pinterest worthy. <laughs> the next thing I got from Bed Bath & Beyond was this metal sign that 
is in French and it means welcome. I guess it's bienvenue. I don't know. You guys can look that up on how to pronounce it, but it's a really nice, super heavy metal. Now, I don't like the color scheme, of course, but I thought this would be really pretty on the front porch hanging somewhere. I may put it on a piece of wood to make it a little more substantial and I was going to paint it black and then do some highlights here in maybe a goldish bronzy color or something like that but I thought it was really nice and I got it on sale for hmm, I think it was ten dollars all right so here's the skew in case you're interested okay yeah I'm not sure exactly how much this cost but they had a sale section kind of tucked back in Bed Bath & Beyond, and I just happened upon that, and this little arrangement um, was in there also. So I got these two from the sale area, and like I said, I think this was $24.99 maybe, and I got it for like $10, I can't really remember. But it was worth the money, it's a good heavy piece, and I'll be painting that for the front porch. And the last two things I wanted to show you today were from Target. I have a lot more things, but I'm not going to show them to you just yet. I'm just not ready to get into that part of fall yet, <laughs> so I thought I would just share these with you. Anyway, I got these at Target. They were five dollars each. Yep. Oh. Yep. So there's the skew. If you're interested, like I said, five dollars, and you could. Use the back of them if you wanted to. And the reason I just grabbed two of these is because it's usually just my husband and I and we always use placemats because we have this glass top table that scratches really easily. The bottom of the plates that I got from Walmart will just wreak havoc on glass. So you have to have something down or if they slide at all, they will scratch because the bottom isn't polished and finished. So, and that's, that's the case with a lot of pottery and dishes these days. So I just got these and they have rust orange burgundy and an off white and gray so they really look great with the brick i thought so i just picked these up and i'll show you there is also a little bit of ochre yellow in there just barely so it has a lot of the colors that I have going on in the kitchen. So I picked those up also. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with me today. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. As always, I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. And if you like home decor, home improvements, DIYs, and paint tutorials, please consider subscribing and make sure you turn on the notification bell and select the option all so you won't miss the next video upload. I hope you all have a wonderful day and until the next video, bye for now.